this is a uh, differential equation which based on two uh, variables. We have now two variables, one x and one t. This is why we use round. If we had only one uh, uh, variable, then we had d. If you remember from mathematics, uh, there is no uh, difference between the d and around. Uh, uh, only when we have mm, two or three variables, then it is partial differential equation. Other, uh, otherwise, when there is only one uh, variable, then it is ordinary differential equation. So, here we have a partial differential equation. But the, the main point is this u. When we have u, it means that we need the velocity. Yes, we need the velocity on that point that we are uh, doing the uh, numerical modeling. If you consider a river and we are going to make a, uh, uh, to solve it numerically, then we make it grid as we talk here uh, about the thing. We, we break it, yes, we do it, describe it, and then we have different points. And on this point, we solve the uh, um, uh, advection dispersion equation. And in each point, we need the velocity. So, it shows that when you are going to doing uh, solute transport modeling in any medium, is it uh, groundwater, is it uh, river, we need at first to know the velocity distribution into the river. We should know how the velocity changes in different points because we need the u here. So, before you start to do the numerical modeling for solute transport, at first you should do numerical modeling for flow transport, how flow is transporting into the system. Yes, if there is a canal and this charge is constant and the, the flow is uniform and the flow is steady, I mean it does not change with time, it, there is no change with time, the, the flow not the, uh, the pollutant. The pollutant can, because there are different, two different things. The, the flow can be, if you have a river, this river assume the discharge is constant, the, uh, the, there is no change in the, in the discharge, so the velocity and everything is constant. But if you add some color inside it, the concentration of the color start to change time. So this, there are two different equations. If everything is constant in the river regarding to the flow, so the governing equation is if you have a irrigation canal with, uh, which is rectangular and the width is 2 meter, the depth is 1 meter and uh, 1 meter of water, uh, no not depth, we have the two, uh, 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 irrigation canal which is uh, rectangular and the width is 2 meter and the discharge is 5 uh, cubic meter per second. How you can understand what is the depth? inside the uh, channel and, the, and we assume that the slope is 0 0.001. How we can calculate the depths into the, uh, uh, um, this canal and also the velocity? I do not want to calculate, only say how, how we can calculate. Today, just two or three times I named the equation. Mining equation, yeah. The governing equation in, in this uh, uh, volume would be mining equation. So, show, you know, so you will use the mining equation and you calculate the break in V. So the velocity is constant. So it is easy. This uh, problem is easy to solve. You have a constant Y, you, <coughs> sorry, uh, velocity during the channel and you can, uh, so you don't need to do a lot of uh, um, uh, try to for flow transport you only concentrate on the solute transport because the flow is already solved and it is only a constant velocity. But if you have a river, this river, even the discharge if in the river if it is constant, but you have changed the slope in different parts, it is not a, a constant slope in the river. And also the river has, does not have a um, constant V. Sometimes it goes um, a smaller, larger, you see, we have different change. So the velocity uh, depths, everything is changing based on this uh, change regarding to the slope and regarding to the uh, form and the size of your uh, cross section. Yes? 
during all this change. So you need to do at first also numerical modeling flow transport. And if this charge also with time change, so it is more complicated. Uh, you should solve two equation to each um, uh, with each other uh, with uh, um, which change with time and also the um, uh, x yes and also for groundwater when you want to model in the groundwater again in the groundwater also uh, the flow transport is governed by another equation uh, but based on the uh, based on uh, Darcy in the saturated zone and uh, based on recharge equation in the unsaturated zone. So before uh, modeling transport of the solute, at first you should modeling with uh, flow and you bring, uh, you find the uh, uh, velocity in different depths, uh, in different points and from that you can start to modeling uh, um, uh, solute transport, which is a complicated procedure and it's not easy for you to write the codes. But we start to how, learn how to write the codes with um, uh, a simple uh, thought and assume the velocity is constant. And then we will go to the more harder uh, situation. And uh, for harder situation, you usually, if you are a PhD student and you based, um, you focused on the numerical model. So of course, you must be for that past uh, courses like CFD, computation of fluid dynamics and numerical methods in uh, uh, water science. There are different courses for PhD students who want to focus at every university, uh, maybe have different names. I am talking uh, based on my experiences. Of course, your university also have these courses. Um, uh, if you want to go in more details as a numerical modeler, and you learn, it is necessary in my view that you pass these kind of courses. Even if you want to work with uh, uh, softwares, for example, you say I am working with Fiflo, so I don't need he do it for me. But when you uh, use a software, you should know how it works because uh, it's not like a chair that you sit on it and it is not important to know how it works. It's like a uh, um, uh, airplane. You know, you, you must know very details when you you want to become a pilot. You must know a lot about airplane, how it works because it is necessary or big cars when you work with a small cars nobody asks about the engine how it works but usually when you want to get a license for a big cars then you should know how also a little bit mechanic it's necessary and i think um, uh, about the numerical modeling is also is like this you must know what these tools how it works what is the meaning of the grids how, uh, how it defines the uh, boundary conditions